Take two. Hello everybody, my name is Drew, and welcome back to the Not Gumdo Minecraft server for yet another episode of Let's Play Minecraft with the Knights. And today I am working with Larry, who is... where the hell did Larry go? There he is. Hi Larry. Hey dude. Sup, sup. So, uh, in case you guys are wondering what it is that we are standing on, this is going to be the Iron Farm. Now, Larry and Parthiv have been hard at work making this guy this week, and I guess part of last week. Well, mostly me. Parthiv donated doors. Yeah, so this has pretty much been Larry's project. Um, for the rookie Minecrafter, he's kind of just dove into this thing like, yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> and his first big project is the Iron Foundry, as opposed to, you know, making a house or a farm. Well, he'd be at the farm. Well, you guys had the fortress already, so I already had some sweet dig. So my reason, we need to get some iron. We need to equip ourselves. Truth. And yeah, having excess good. iron is always a good thing. So I'm going to help Larry out here today, and we are going to try and get this guy set and ready to go. And hopefully producing absolutely filthy amounts of iron. In theory. I'm just kind of following Larry right now. I don't even know what we're doing. Uh, you need to stay back on the main platform. Okay. The main reason the main reason we're doing this in two is that there's a 64 block difference between these platforms. Right. And certainly, place door, walk across. Place two doors, walk across. Break those doors. Place two more than whatever was there before. So I'm gonna need doors. I'm guessing. Hold on, let's go get yep. doors. Your inventory sh should be full of doors. Yeah. Actually, I don't have enough doors. I need to come back and grab more doors. <laughs> yeah. In case you're wondering, there's all these chests here. They're full of pretty much nothing but doors. Just, just no, doors. If only doors stacked. If only they oh, stacked. God. I would be but when they do, head. when they do, because it we would have needed one chest of these things stacked. It's true. See, this is why Mojang's finally giving us the ability to stack them. But then the iron but farm also, breaks. But, but then they're nerfing iron farms. At least they're nerfing new farms. Yeah, don't know if what's what going to happen with this guy. It, as far as I know, if you have it built already, it should still work in play. Like, at least the mechanics will work. Just you have to do the killing differently. You have to lava weaken them instead of kill them. Oh, okay. And then you have to manually kill them at the end to get the. To get the actual, yeah, because they're not going to drop, right? If we want poppies, like, as far as the day. Oh, crap. What'd you do? I forgot to turn on the chunk loader. Well, actually, you're staying on the main platform, so it won't Yeah, matter. I'll go down. That doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm here, so. Just remind With me to our, turn that on. Our ghetto or their. We're all set up. Our ghetto chunk loader. It's not ghetto, it's a sweet one. Then the item sorter, I need to put on the gold farm later. Legit. Because having limitless amounts of gold quiet. would be great. The um, thing is, because uh, part of it was like a burnout clock on his, so it's oh, yeah, okay. the most annoying sound ever to stand there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas this one make is quiet stop. and silent. The only sound is the hopper clock with the redstone blocks that makes a sound every 30 seconds. I was yeah. supposed to do 30 pounds a second. Yeah. Thank you, things that go off every one tick. Just because you can make a monostable circuit doesn't mean you should. You know, I just love that I have these signs to say, and they're color coding. Nice. Place doors on sandstone lines, not cobble. Nice. So, yeah, we're going to get to work here. Um, maybe get the first few lines of doors in, and then we will check back in with a progress update. Which is luck that we don't fuck this up. Hey, welcome back, guys. We're just doing a brief progress update. We're hard at work setting this first village up. Um, 13? Oh, that's my cue. Okay, we're going to go down here. Um, <laughs> so I break the doors. Now, as Larry pointed out just a moment ago, we literally have doors for days, which coincidentally is now going to be the title for this episode. Just how could you not? How could you not use that? You said 13, right? Yep, 13. Or else that would be... 10, 11, 12, 13, down here. Yeah, 13. Yeah. I can give Think. you... Right? Well, let me double check. I can give you the Z core. You should be on 178. 178? Yeah. That one right there. Gotcha. Yeah, now we're in the slow, tedious... Well, <laughs> the first slow and tedious part. Then comes the really tedious part. Oops. Screw you, though. Super villagers. 
freaking Squidwards. They really are. Okay, yeah, there you go, 14. Oh. Oh, now it rains. Now it's gonna rain. Oh, well, we're dry anyway. Oh, I think I am. I am, I'm not sure about you. No, my guy's wet. Well, might as well rain. We are making it rain doors up in here. <laughs> this is club. true. One, two, three, four. It's the door club. Six, seven, I don't know. Anyway, we'll be back with some more progress. Yeah. Welcome back for another quick update. As you can see, I'm chopping down doors here because this first line is done. Uh, a little hard work, and we are pretty much set to go on this platform. So we're about to move over to the second one and start doing our next line of doors. And we got up with a pretty neat, what would you, what would you call it, like a buddy system almost, or a counting system to keep yep. ourselves on track. Counting system. I'll call it counting system. It starts, it starts in the far end. Um, to to quote the to quote the British education system, our learning objective is today is to learn how to fuck up putting doors down. Yep. <laughs> At the end of this lesson, you will be able to put doors down and not fuck it up. Man, we're slinging more wood than a male strip club. <laughs> oh, somehow I feel like that's not appropriate. <laughs> appropriate? Do you not know who you're dealing with? <laughs> this is true. Uh, I should have should have started with that. <laughs> uh, so we're starting with sandstone line now, right? Yep. In pairs. Cause you always add two more at a time. Remember? Oh yeah 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 okay so yeah I thought you meant like I, I changed do... the word in a little bit in case someone else came up here. I got gotcha. you. That's the way to switch the first doors. Right, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, so I'm gonna do one. You're gonna do two and one. I'll do three, two, one. Yep. Ah, so, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So I guess you'll you'll throw a two at me um, for, the me for the method. Yeah. So there's there's one, two. So now break my door, if I remember right. Not yet. I have to yeah. finish my line. You break right. doors when you get your number. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Right. Because the time in between to write it and send it and for you to receive it yeah. should equal about the same amount of time for the village to get set. In theory. God, I hope this actually is working. And we're not, we're not going to know until we start doing the ones inside. No. Oh, what okay. comes to worst, this will be the first. This will be the first part of the video. So yeah. This will all be edited down to ten minutes, and we'll do it again with the mod installed, and we'll know what the hell we're doing. Yeah. See, first of all, you know, if we have, you know, we, we fucked it all. I'll do it again. Do it again. Do over. Just a do over. But. uh... We're, we're, thank God we're not doing this drunk for drunk Minecraft. Could you imagine what this would be like? I wouldn't allow anyone near this thing while drunk in Minecraft. <laughs> what does this button do? That's TNT. Why do you have TNT? Like, I have, like, because I've been enchanting books, I have three smite four books. I can smite all the things and smite <laughs> you with it. Uh, too bad. So did you, did you, if you've been watching Feed the Beast, you see one of the things is is like the Tinker's Construct Hammers. No, I do watch your series. So you've seen the hammer, right? Yes. I wish we had one of those. The new one is pretty much Mjolnir. <laughs> I could enchant it to actually throw lightning bolts if I wanted. I'm pretty sure if I use Magicka. If I use Magicka. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to... Finish this line off and we'll be back, boys and girls. Pretty. Okay, we're back. As you can see, we've got another line of doors in there. Larry's just popped off for a second to go and take a look at our instructions to figure out what it is that we're doing next and make sure that we've um, not completely screwed this up. But we should be okay. Now comes the, the really tedious part. And we do mean really tedious. I mean, like, this was, this was one thing, but uh, what's going to happen next is we got to go through and I think we got to start with the end of phase two here and we're gonna go um, the doors down the line that way um, complete phase two complete phase one and then do the exact same thing on the other side as well that way we have no no, no. you do across so you do across this side, and we cross straight across gotcha okay that's all the it's a mirror village, so the right. center point should be right above the death pit. 
Right, okay, so yeah, we gotta do this side and that side, then we go and do phase one and do that. So yeah, that's gonna be the most tedious part, but we'll make it work and get done quickly, relatively quickly. At least that's the theory. But so far this is looking pretty decent. Oh yeah, let's get to Dave for part of here. It's actually working pretty well. Alright, like you can see our cedar villagers out there. We have a villager in both of them. Yes, we do. No, those are the most annoying things ever. Yeah, I can imagine. So much rail. <laughs> but that elevator looks sweet. Yeah, I like that. It's pretty sick. Oh, I have to remember to get a silk touch pick so we can mine that glass back and put it back on the outside. I found squid. If I wasn't busy, I would go kill them. For all of the oh, black jump down and attack it? Yes. I would kamikaze it from approximately 100 blocks up. No, what are we at? Uh, yeah, almost 100 blocks up. Just, just kamikaze him. Right from the top. Leap of faith. Because they're squid and fuck squid. I think they're so good. Wouldn't show up when I wanted them to. Sheldon watching TV. No, I'm watching YouTube. Because I can hear that on the mic, it means I'm not using that part. Meh, it's not too bad. Constant. So we're back looking at our finish line of doors there. And our other one on the other side. Just waiting for Larry to figure out what we're doing next. Um, we're pretty sure what we're going to do because we're going to end up with a mirror village layout. So this village here will be mirrored over there and vice versa for phase one on that side. And then those villages together will align their spawn points, preferably over the pit of death, but they should form somewhere around here so that the golems drop in, get pushed down into the pit of death. And obviously this won't work uh, once 1.8 hits, but the same mechanic should still work for, for spawning them. We just won't get the drops for them. And we couldn't do it again. But if it's here and it's actually established, we should be okay. So we're going to figure out what we're doing next, and we will be back with another progress update. See you in a bit, guys. Okay, we are back with an update. And check this thing out. We got our first golem. We are not even done the first phase. <laughs> but it works! <laughs> yeah! Oh, we should not be this excited, but we are. We got a golem. We're, we're actually making this work. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, there's another one. Oh, gotcha. God. Sweet, glorious day. Larry, this might actually work. And all without the village mod. And all without the village mod. That our ops so graciously have not installed yet. <laughs> watch, watch. Tom will come back and message you. By the way, Larry, put that mod in. Thanks, By the way, Tom. reset the server right now. No, 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 no. Have you done your line yet? I'm... Uh, what are we on? Line six? Uh, yeah, I'm done my line. Let's make sure. Wait. One, on. two, three, four. I've got two, one, two, three, four, seven. four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. I can start mine. Yep. We got mildly distracted there for a minute, but yeah, it works. We have two golems already. Woo! The fact that we didn't fuck it up is actually what's really... Really but amazing no, this, me right now. This is the easiest way to tell right now. Because there can be up to four at a time, so this is how we can tell. What the? What okay, the, my line's done. Is that golem like. I don't know. My screen is this one golem like. Just hopping on the side, just chilling. He's. I don't know what he's trying to do. He's moonwalking he's trying to pump right the now. Stone. <laughs> and now he's coming up to visit me. No, bad golem. Go away. Do your damn line. I'm doing it. We'll come over there and doors. smack you. But yeah, so, yeah, it's working, guys. We're going to try and finish this phase off, and then we'll be back. Peace in a little bit. Hey, and we're back again. So you can see we've got our first phase completely done. And check it out. Look at him dance. There's our golems. They're spawning. It's awesome. It actually works. We are not made of fail. And Graham's joined us. He's not in our chat right now, but he's here, and he's... Wandering around with a bone, and I don't know why he has the bone, but he's wandering around. He's slinging some bone. 
Yeah, yeah, and then do what he wants. <laughs> I could punch him in the throat, though. That wouldn't be cool. But would be completely predictable and understandable. Yeah, yeah, well, right, you know. Start on that cobble line, something, please, something sir. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're going to get back to work here. We'll see in a little bit. Oh, we have to bring the satellite doors. True. That's what the next step is. Okay. Oh. I'll go do that. All right. Okay, so we are back. As you can tell, there's golems. You have this guy who's kind of floating and somehow not dead. <coughs> but yeah, we're back. All the doors are in place. Um, we're just breaking the satellite doors right now, which I will help with. Hulk smash. Well said, Larry. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll break the smaller phase doors. Cool. Divide and conquer, yo. That's how we do it. So we're in theory pretty much done, with the exception of actually turning it on and letting this sucker cook. No, oh, we still need the second platform. That's what I mean. Like we just need to put that thing in and, and knock out the center and let it kill. All right, satellite doors are done. Which means once you do yours, the center spawn point should be right over a death pit. Yep. Just finished my... So in theory, when they spawn... Oh, damn. They're we, all need bad. Another double. we need a double chest, I just realized. That's how many doors we have. We have 44 oh. doors. Yes. So I'll set well, up. We I'll should... just go in the chest of chests and set up another one. We should. Sure. I'm going like, go to go downstairs and do it. So that we actually can start moving stuff around here. Um, we're just gonna hop up here, and then I'm just gonna jump off the top. And I nearly hit the cobblestone. Oh god. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to finish this up this hole at some point. But I think this is the last thing we're gonna do. Yeah. Because we do need a ladder to come back up. I realize. Because we can't fly. Oh god, if we could fly. I believe I can fly. Okay, so there's... I jumped down without any wood on me. Because I'm a smart man. Up at the top. So, we just gotta... We gotta do a few minor Wait, things to it. Um, I'll put a link to the... In the description. Um, or annotation in post-processing. Whatever I do. I'm not sure what it'll do. But I'll link somewhere to the actual tutorial on how to make this guy for the time being that it will actually work. Because it should work, in theory. Grab one of these guys like that. Now I can fix it. But yeah, we're going to try and finish this off a little bit. Get the water going. And actually get this guy cooking right along. So we'll be back again with another update. Hopefully fairly soon. Oh, this is not a good sign, guys. Just as we were finishing off the farm, the server kicked us off and it clearly is not connecting or refreshing or anything. We've been waiting for a couple minutes. So unfortunately we're going to cut the episode here. Um, hopefully everything stays in a working order and not complete chaos because we'll be incredibly upset if it does. But at least we got it 90% finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, me and Larry working together and working on the farm. Um, hopefully the server comes back and we can get everything up and we'll make it look pretty and all that kind of stuff and we'll show it to you later. Uh, some other big plans in the works for some of the stuff going into Player, uh, Player Valley. So hopefully you guys will get to see that pretty soon too. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.